Welcome to another episode of DLB TV Unboxings. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing the small, beautiful Apple TV. We'll be right back after this. You guys are tuned into DLB TV. All right. So the Apple TV currently is going for $99, $100. Um, so, uh, I decided to pick one up finally, uh, seeing that I just recently got an iPad. So I was like, okay, well, you know, let's get an Apple TV, uh, so we can do the whole airplane feature. So, uh, so far so good. So right here, I love how Apple put these little flaps on here. So it's easy to pull the product out, whatever it is. So let's go ahead and lift this up out of here by the little flap right there. Take that out. And that's the Apple TV. So pretty small. I'm really shocked at the size of this thing. So let's go ahead and take this off of here. All right, put that to the side. And there it is, Apple TV. Literally Apple TV. Uh, and then another uh, one of their little flap things right here. Let's go ahead and pull that so we can uh, see the ports on this bad boy. So we're gonna pull that off. Get that off of here, throw that to the side. Get all this stuff out the way now. Get all the trash out the way. All right, so here we are, the small, thin Apple TV. Um, right here on the bottom, it's a, it's a little a sticky kind of a feel. Keep it set on your entertainment center. So you have the power adapter where that goes. You have your mini USB. Uh, you have your HDMI port above that. And then for all those with surround sound, I'll, optical audio right there and then last but not least those of you that choose to use an ethernet cable so that's basically it on the back at least so once again this this apple tv is small i was not expecting this to be that small wow it's thin <laughs> so we're going to set that to the side now go ahead and dig in the rest of this box uh, right here another flab again to pull out the remote uh, and now this remote, I have to say, it's really sturdy. When I when I saw these remotes, you know, I, th I thought they were like really thin and plasticky and just a paperweight and not even a paperweight, not even something to hold papers down. I thought that would blow away before the papers do. But, but this thing feels really sturdy. Now, I must admit, I don't use that. I choose to use the remote on uh the remote app on the iPhone or my uh, my iPad and again the power adapter of course and then you have your manual and of course Apple loves 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 to give us stickers so there's the stickers there's the Apple TV warranty and then the starting guide and that's it so um you know what? I'm actually going to show you guys how this thing actually looks. All right, so I got it set up to the TV. Um, and as you can see, you have your movies. Um, you can select the movies up at the top if you want to select those. Um, the movies at the top are the current top movies right now. Um, so, and then you can go by genre. So, we can go by genre, and you can search, and then you can see the movies, uh, trailers. That are in theaters or that will be in theaters soon. So uh, if you can, as you can see right here, you can select through, go through them. Got Captain of America right here, uh, and in here you can see the description of the movie, the length, the actors, uh, director, movies that are similar to this movie, and so on and so forth. Uh, so now we're in the TV section. Uh, you can view by TV networks, you can search TV shows, uh, top TV shows, and then you can come here at the top again and you can navigate through the top shows here at the top as well. So, and then the next step is internet. So again, uh, you have Netflix, everything has Netflix nowadays. You have MLB TV, you have uh, NBA, you have YouTube, podcast, mobile me. I'm curious on what they're going to change that to, and then Flickr and then radio. And then this is how you navigate to uh, information on your computer. But real quick, I want to take you guys to YouTube, show you guys YouTube. Now, you can actually sign into your YouTube account. 
you actually see the history uh, you can see the top rated shows most recent so on you can see your favorite shows your own videos um, so it, it's pretty nice it's pretty nice you can log in log out you know log into somebody else's accounts you can check it out see your subscriptions so I've actually spent a lot of time within that YouTube app honestly uh, and then podcasts now these podcasts right here are podcasts that you are able to subscribe to and choose to here on Apple TV they're not the same podcast from within your iTunes library if you subscribe to, uh, to podcasts through iTunes. You still can access those, but just not in this area. Um, but these do show the podcasts that I have favorited here on my Apple TV. Uh, so as you can see, a lot of tech stuff. And then uh, you got CNET. I love CNET's podcast. I love their podcast. love the Apple by a few Apple ones, a few uh, gaming ones. So I actually am not finished with that list yet. I still have to go back in and add a few more. Um, so then again, now these are things that are on my computer. Uh, and so I can access my music, my movies, TV shows, podcasts, photos, anything that is in iTunes or somehow couldn't connect it to iTunes, I can access from within here. So again now this is where you access all of your podcasts from your iTunes library so any podcast that you subscribe to from your iTunes library this is where you would access it from and now this has a list of all of your music all of your playlist you can search by album, artist, your genius mixes on here. And the reason why this is good is because a lot of people's surround sound is connected to their TV. So, you know, the way me and my wife used to set it up was we connect our laptop or our iPhone to the surround sound. Well, now we don't have to do that anymore. Our whole iTunes library is already connected to our entertainment center through our Apple TV. And we can use our iPhone as a remote control no matter where we are in the house. So instead of having to stand right in front of the Apple TV and make sure the remote is actually hitting it, I can be all the way in the bathroom in a whole other room and still be able to change the music, change the volume, and it's able to come out of my surround sound speakers. So I love that feature. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, and then you have your settings, of course. And also, like I said before, you have your iPhone, which you can use to control your Apple TV. Now forgive me for the quality here. I was trying to do the best that I could for you guys. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see, uh, you just swipe your finger across the face of your iPhone when you have the remote app launch, that is. And then you can swipe up, swipe down. You can choose by pushing and then go in. And then there's a menu button at the bottom right there. You can't see it that great, but it's right there at the bottom in the middle. You push menu and that takes you back to the main menu. And that's it. That's Apple TV, folks. Until the next video, peace.